It's about the perfect pairing. I know, I was just telling them, hey, this is like what I had for dinner last night. It's perfect. So we're talking about cheese first. And you know, there is not a cheese that I do not like. I like every single type of cheese. All cheeses, and Rayleigh's is a really good selection. You Excellent guys are like selection. my go-to for cheeses. So, Julie, you made this beautiful plate here. What are some of the cheeses people should be bringing out for Thanksgiving? Um, definitely the Purple Moon. It's okay. a cheddar soaked in Cabernet wine okay. overnight. That gives that nice purple color. Um, oh, that's good. Yummy. Mm -hmm. uh, next, I have the Laura Chanel Chev, okay. which is a very tasty, tangy I cheese. love this one. This one's right here. Comes like that. And that will last you so long. Probably not if you have family over, but if you're just a single person, it lasts you a while. It's, it's really creamy, too. I love it. It's delicious. Okay, what's this one that we have? Point Reyes Blue. It's uh, very creamy and tangy. It's kind of a medium punch of blue. Yeah, people are always on the fence about blue cheese. I say just go for it, especially if you're, drink, if you're drinking wine. Correct. But th that'll kind of take away the, the tanginess of it. Absolutely. Uh, this is just a, a typical uh, cheddar. Extra aged Gouda. Okay, oh, yep. Gouda. It okay. has a little uh, caramel taste to it, honey and butterscotch. Which okay. Is quite nice. You have a good mix of the creamy cheeses and the hard cheeses. What yep. do we have in the front right here? That's a fresh brie. It's a okay. little petite brie. Okay. It's called Love petite that breakfast, but you can have it any time of the day. I'm about to have all this for breakfast. <laughs> uh, you can get all of this at Rayleigh's, and I like this because uh, sometimes Thanksgiving dinner not done on time. Mm. You know, the timing doesn't always work out. Just feast on this while you wait. Plus, you actually cut up the baguettes that you have here, but yep. this you could just buy. I'm yep. more about the buying than the cutting. <laughs> you could buy these. <laughs> and uh, also the almonds, too. Yep, those are you fried can. from Spain. They're delicious. Yeah, I, I, I didn't really like nuts until I tried them with cheese, mm. and then I was all about it. They're okay, delicious. so now let's, let's get to what everyone wants to talk about right. the wine. <laughs> so, Curtis, we have some whites over here, and then, and then the reds. Whites to start? Yeah, so generally, if you're talking about a soft cheese, you're going to go with a white wine. Uh, this farmer worker Chardonnay is a great one. Um, you can also go champagne. So okay. I've got some really delicious Ayala champagne. Um, that goes really well with the uh, with the chevra, or or can also go well with the brie. Um, and then if you're looking more on the say harder cheeses, the, the cheese with a little bit of age to them, then you usually move to the red wine. So okay. say with the aged gouda, you're really looking at that exumbra syrah would be a great combination. Okay. And then of course the classic. Cheese pairing with wine is blue cheese with uh, Pinot Noir, and that's okay. like burgundy Pinot Noir. Yeah, people always say Pinot Noir is the safe bet for Thanksgiving. It, it for, is the, for dinner. Is that right? That, that, that's right because it generally has not a lot of tannins to the okay. wine, but it also has a lifted acidity, so it can really enhance the, the flavors of, of your Thanksgiving dinner. How much wine should people buy? You don't want to run out, <laughs> right? <laughs> and yeah. also, you know, gets a little interesting when you bring the whole family together when they haven't seen each other in a while. How much? How many? What do you think a bottle per person is good? Uh, that could work. Yes, uh, <laughs> that might be a lot. I don't, I don't know. Depends on uh, depends on how much you drink. But yeah, yeah, I mean, you can start with some lower alcohol wines to start the evening. Okay. Uh, that's why Pinot Noir is a great a wine in that case. Or yeah. certain types of uh, you know like Vino Verde or Rosé sometimes it tends to be a little lower alcohol. So then, okay. So then uh, you yeah, know. Yeah, we, we don't want people swinging from the chandelier. Yeah, I get what yeah. you're saying. <laughs> like, I, I'm just getting my whole family drunk apparently. No, I understand. I understand. You don't want people getting all crazy. At your Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, check out Rayleigh's. They have a great selection. And what I love, everyone's super knowledgeable. So if you want to know about these cheeses, there will be someone like Julie or Curtis who can help you pick out good wine and good cheese. A, a bottle per person, I, I feel like people are going to be hating on me for that. Is that, is that too much? It's, a, it's a quite no. a bit. Oh, it is? <laughs> it's quite a bit. All right. Thank you, guys. Celebrate the holiday season with